tracking storms so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 weather. 818 on this Saturday. We've got some pretty dense cloud cover overhead, some sun trying to peer through in spots, but it's just not getting there. There is one heavy storm. This is in Blunt County moving to the east right over 231. City of Royal getting some heavy rain and lightning, even on Iana and then down south, some heavier rain in spots. But other than that, it's pretty quiet on WVTM 13 Live Doppler. Few showers over Pell City and Asheville. These are continuing to push east. Uh, but other than that, we are quiet and dry over the state of Alabama. Now a big view to the north and to the west, some heavier showers and storms. There's an upper level low pressure system right here and it has a front with it. And uh, that frontal boundary is helping to promote some showers and storms. There was a huge complex of storms to the west early this morning and it drifted southeast, but it weakened before it got here to Alabama. But it did provide us with some cloud cover you can see over central Alabama there, but the rain coverage was pretty slim. Temperatures warming up uh, slowly. The cloud cover is keeping us a little bit cooler this morning. 78 degrees in Birmingham. We're at 75 down I-65 in Chilton County and Shelby County. Etowah County at 75 as well. Most of us in the low to mid 70s this morning. Temperatures climb to the low 90s today. We're going to have to watch the heat index. There is a heat advisory because we've got a lot of moisture in place as well. I think that feels like temperatures will be near 100 degrees, maybe a little bit above in some places. Tomorrow, a little bit warmer, and we'll have to watch the heat index tomorrow as well. Uh, some scattered storms, but I think coverage is greater today than it is tomorrow. So future radar reveals a lot of messy activity. These are scattered storms. They are not widespread in no form or fashion. A lot of them look to be to the north, and that's where that boundary is kind of dragging. But scattered storms, possibility in any spot today. Really, the window is now, and then especially once we get the daytime heating, 3 p.m. and after, scattered storms possible uh, all over Alabama. And then Sunday, I mentioned the coverage being more limited. We get just a little bit of drier air coming in behind this front. It's only enough to uh, limit the rain chances. So tomorrow, they look like they're more confined to the southern portion of the state, uh, really south of I-20. So your seven day forecast, we've got scattered storms today and tomorrow, but next week a bit of a drier pattern you'll see here on uh, Tuesday. We're going to watch this high pressure ridge build in from the west. This is the second one of the summer, it just creates a dome of heat, so it brings hotter, drier conditions to the state of Alabama. We're really going to heat up our heat index. We'll have to watch that as well. Values 100 degrees, if not above. Stay with us. You're watching WVTM 13 News.